Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So you will have just seen a little time lapse of me doing a few things around the house this morning. When I wake up, I just like to get loads of stuff done um, because like whenever I sit down, then that's like my problem because I'm like, I don't want to move anymore. So I made my bed, sorted out the washing, put a washing on, um, did some of the dishes and gave the kitchen a quick clean. So my next thing on my to-do list is to get my vlog edited from the other day um i vlogged on my last day off and i completely forgot about it like i started editing it um and i haven't finished editing it so i need to do that and then i'm gonna get it uploaded if you haven't seen my what i got for christmas video how beautiful is this new laptop case that i got for christmas my mum and dad got it for me and it's absolutely stunning so i've decided that i'm gonna head out for a walk today call me crazy because it is literally freezing outside hence why i actually haven't been out for a walk um in the longest time it's just been so so cold for the last couple of weeks we've actually had snow here we don't have snow today but it's still really cold um so in case you're wondering why my bed is up it's because i had to hunt out my hat and my glove <laughs> well my gloves but i don't have the other one on because i wouldn't be able to vlog i am going to put it on though i'm not just going to be a weirdo that's going to go around with one glove on when i'm out for a walk i used to wear hats all the time and i haven't worn one in ages just because like ever since I've got my hair cut I just don't think it suits me as well um, but it's freezing outside so I don't really care what I look like I um, just wanted to get some fresh air because I think it's so important to go out for a walk when you can it just like clears your mind and does wonders for your mental health and as soon as we're in a second lockdown again I just think that I really want to try and make an effort on my days off at least to um, just like get out of the house and go for a walk because I'm fine on the days that I'm at work because you know I'm out of the house all day and I, when I get home you know I'm happy to just snuggle up on the sofa but on my days off if I literally just sit on the sofa all day it's not going to be great so I'm going to try and make an effort to actually go out for a walk. So I'm going to grab my other glove and let's go. I actually can't believe I'm about to go out looking like this. It literally looks like I'm wearing pajama bottoms. <laughs> oh my god. Ignore how bizarre my hair looks with this hat on. But anyways, since I have moved I actually haven't come out for a walk in my new local area. So I've come to this woods which is literally right on my doorstep. Like I feel so lucky to have this area and it's got a proper walking route so it's actually like marked off with posts and tells you like where to go so there's no chance of me getting lost um but my sister natasha she actually used to live in this area not her last house before she moved but i think it was one of them before that she's moved a lot of times but she used to have a little one bed flat um in this area and when I told her I was moving here. She was like, oh, you're gonna absolutely love the walks because like there's beautiful scenery and just really nice walkways. And now I know exactly what she means. Sorry that I'm so out of breath, by the way. This woods is really stunning and it's so peaceful and quiet as well. I can definitely see myself coming here most days whenever I have free time. So now that I'm quite a bit higher, it's kind of icy and I don't think I brought the best footwear. I mean, I have brought the best footwear that I own, but I was thinking of buying myself some welly boots um, for whenever I come on forest walks, um, just because they're so much more practical. But I don't really know if I want to invest in hunter wellies. I mean, if any of you guys have them, are they actually good and like worth the money? Or do any of you guys have wellies that cost like a lot less that you would just still recommend? Because um, I just want to get some people's opinions before I actually buy some wellies because I swear every pair of wellies I've ever owned, they've always like leaked. So you know how I said this wood is great because you can't get lost? I think I'm lost. <laughs> I'm definitely no longer on the track because I have to cross this little thing, which would be fine if I had my trainers on, but when I'm in boots, I don't know how to jump. <laughs> also, I have no idea how I get out of the woods and get back home. 
trust me, I literally can't do anything on my own. I'm the worst with directions, but I thought I could follow a trail. <laughs> Clearly not. I've made it back home, guys. At one point, I really thought I was never going to get out of that woods. Um, so what happened after the last clip I filmed was I got out of the woods, but at this completely different part, and I had no idea where I was. I took out my um, maps on my phone, and it told me that I was a 53 minute walk away from home. And I was like, how did I manage this? Like, I do not know what the hell I did, but eventually I managed to find my way back home. I just, only I can do that, eh? I'm not even surprised, like, it's me. Um, but anyways, now that I'm back home, I am so hungry because it is well past my lunchtime. I thought, you know, I'll just go out for like a nice like half hour or hour walk. I swear I was almost three hours. I was like, I'll get to like my 10,000 steps. I'm almost at 20,000 steps now. Um, but I'm not complaining because I actually really enjoyed it. Like, I swear this is the best I felt like this year and I know we're only like one week into the year but the last couple of days I've just felt I don't know just I don't know super emotional and stuff um just not that great I always think that January is a really hard month I was gonna say hard year it does feel like a year but I always think January is a really hard month but um like especially this year and seen as like you know if you're in scotland or england i don't know where else but you know we've just gone into another full lockdown um so i knew it was going to be difficult and also i think i was kind of dreading this new year's just because it's sort of that realization that um you know this is the first year that i'm going into without my granddad being here and i think just that has just been playing on my mind a lot and yeah i'm just missing him a lot so um the last couple of days have been a bit ugh but i'm feeling pretty good today and i think like going out for a walk has really helped i just feel like my mind is so clear um so yeah i'm glad i went out for that walk sorry i'm rambling again but anyways i just put a pizza in the oven so that's what i'm having for my lunch today i cannot wait to tuck into this because i need it after all of my exercise i don't know why but my hair just doesn't seem to stay straight for that long um but oh well, I'm going to be in the house for the rest of the day, so it doesn't really matter. But anyways, I am so excited because I'm actually about to start one of the jigsaws that I got for Christmas. So I was really lucky enough to get a couple of jigsaws for Christmas um, because, you know, my family, my friends, they know that it's literally my favourite thing to do. I think I just had pizza around my mouth in that last clip, so if I did, I apologise. Um, but yeah, I used to love jigsaws a lot um and then i kind of stopped doing them for a while and then one good thing that came out of the first lockdown was that i got back into them and did so many of them and um my love for jigsaws is back so the one that i'm going to be starting today is this one i am so excited because look how cool this is so one of my lovely friends actually got this for me and she actually got the same one for herself and she was telling me that she's already finished hers so i just can't wait to get stuck into this because i know it's going to look so cool when it's done and then i'm probably going to put some friends on netflix as well whilst i do this so it was all going so well until i started thinking wait i've done something wrong with the edging here because it doesn't fit in but this is all right and I've still got like at least another two pieces to fit in the edging and it's just not going to fit in this board so it just must be like not a regular size jigsaw. So before I do any more of it I'm going to take it off and then just put it on the carpet and then hopefully just be able to do it on that. I know it'll be a lot more difficult because it's not going to be as hard of a surface and also like I'll have to lean over it but I'm glad that I um, noticed that it was not going to fit like now rather than later because imagine if I hadn't done the edging first and I just had done so much of the jigsaw it would be more difficult to move it then. So I moved my jigsaw down to the floor just because it was too big this way um, to fit on the board that I normally do my other jigsaws on um, but I seem to be doing okay on the floor with it. So I've done all the edging apart from one piece that I can't find. Um, I'm hoping it's in there somewhere. It probably is. I just always um, panic in case like I lose a piece or something um, and like suck up with a hoover <laughs> knowing me that would happen um, but yeah I started with the central perk sign just because I thought that that would be the easiest bit to start with 
and that is all I've managed to get done so far and I've just been listening to some Miley Cyrus. I'm just obsessed with her voice. I'm really loving her music right now. Um, but anyways, I am now going to go and pick Michael up from work and then we have to quickly pop into Tesco just to get a few bits. Um, because our cupboards and stuff are running low, I actually just ate a whole bar of um, dairy milk whilst I was doing my jigsaw and I don't even mean like the little like snack size one. No, this was like a big share bar. I just can't believe how quickly our snack cupboard has gone down because on Christmas day it was literally full because we were very lucky and got loads of like boxes of biscuits and um, loads of chocolate. It was literally packed and now we have barely anything left. Um, because Michael had been making his way through the biscuits and then I'm like a very chocolatey person so I've just been eating chocolate bars. But that's what everybody does after Christmas anyways. So yeah, I just enjoy snacking when I'm doing jigsaws or watching TV or literally anything. I have no idea why my cheeks are this red so please ignore that. Um, but we are back from Tesco now and I have just poured myself a bath but I really wanted to show you guys um, some new bath products that I got for Christmas. Oh my god, it is so bright and steamy. Let me just sort this out. It's really hot and steamy in here, but I'm hoping it's gonna let me film in here without the lens sort of fogging up. But as I was saying, I got so many bath products for Christmas, which I'm so happy about because you guys know me, I love my baths. Um, so one of them that I got was this box of Lush bath bombs and I I'm so excited to open it so I thought I'd just open it on camera and we can have a look to see what's inside it and then add one of them to my bath. This smells incredible like even in the packaging so I'm just so excited to actually see what these um, bath bombs look like. I've actually never had a bath bomb from Lush which some of you might be like what? I can't believe that. I really should have filmed this clip before I poured my bath because it's just so steamy in here so I apologise if you guys can't actually see me. Oh my gosh it's like filled with foam that is so cute. So this here is the first bath bomb that I've got. So this one is called the Golden Wonder bath bomb. Next up we have this one which is the Jingle Bells bath bomb. Um, so this one says drop into the bath for an explosion of essential oils to escort you to your happy place. Oh my gosh. I'm kind of in the mood for one that I just drop in the bath so I feel like this might be the one I use today. But we do have one more at the bottom. This is so exciting. Oh my goodness this is the cutest one ever. Oh my gosh. You guys aren't ready for this. Look how cute. Can my camera please focus on this? No, it needs assistance. There we go. Oh, look how cute this guy is. Oh my gosh, he is adorable. So this one here is the Polar Bear Plunge Bubble Bar. Crumble a little, a lot, or the whole thing under running water to unleash mounds of bubbles. Probably not gonna use that one because I've already put um, some bubble bath in there so I've got bubbles so I'll probably use a bath bomb but oh my goodness I kind of don't want to use him he's so cute oh my gosh and they all smell incredible by the way I can definitely see why Lush is so popular like these are so cool oh my gosh I feel like I want to get a basket for in here um not, not like a basket well yeah kind of like a little storage basket and I put bath bombs in it is that a good idea do people do that I don't know just because I feel like I don't have anywhere to keep these now, so until I use them, they're just gonna stay in a cardboard box. I think it would be nice to have a little um, storage basket like on display filled with nice bath bombs um, because like they smell nice and they also look pretty and oh my gosh, there's glitter everywhere. <laughs> so tonight I'm gonna use the Jingle Bells bath bomb. Hopefully my camera will focus on this and I hope it looks really pretty. Let's put it in. <gasps> Wow, it's so nice. Finally, a bath bomb that actually doesn't fail. I swear every time that I have put a bath bomb in my bath, nothing ever happens. Lush bath bombs are the one. I stopped filming the bath bomb because I thought it was just red and white, but oh my gosh, now it has blue coming out of it. How pretty. It looks like something. Oh, I know what it is. It kind of looks like Colgate toothpaste. 
So I'm just out of the bath and I just wanted to quickly show you my new pyjamas. So I actually got a gift card for next um, at Christmas and this is what I bought with it. It's these really cute pyjamas which are obviously star themed. I mean what else did you expect? But I absolutely love the t-shirt. Like the style of it is so cool because it's like a oversized t-shirt like look how long the sleeves are on the t-shirt i really like it and then the t-shirt has this really cute moon on it and then a cloud and then some stars and it says lost with the moon cloud and stars and then the pajama bottoms are just navy with stars all over them they're so comfy as well i think it's just because they're so oversized like i absolutely love the style of this t-shirt um so yeah that is my new pajamas so here's how the jigsaw's going i tried to start the writing like the um friends bit but it's actually way harder than i thought it would be um I just don't know where to start with the jigsaw just because so much is going on and then I just like find a random piece and I'm just like for example this I'm like oh that goes there somewhere but then I don't have the bits to join it so right now it just looks like I've got a bunch of random pieces just lying on the floor which I kind of do but I do have a structure kind of. <laughs> I am really enjoying doing this jigsaw because it's so like much fun when I find a piece and I'm just like oh my gosh I remember this scene that was the episode where this happened or where there was that joke or that quote just because I'm so obsessed with friends. I'm also munching on these because Michael and I got these at Tasco. They're the crispy caramel bites and they're so good. There was 20 in this and I've ate half maybe, maybe more. <laughs> So I'm going to end this vlog here just because I'm going to head to bed in a little bit so that I can get a decent sleep tonight and be ready for work tomorrow. So I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this vlog. If you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And I will see you guys again very, very soon for another vlog. Thanks for watching. Bye!